Good evening, welcome back to Oven Mitts Without Any Tits. What are we doing today? We are having, I'm doing a bit of a, a bit of a take on dirty fries. So if you don't know what dirty fries are, it's basically like a, um, a fries with a load of stuff on it and cheese and stuff, but put in the oven it bubbles away. Uh, so it's quite a nice, fairly quick meal to do. So I'm going to start by making the sauce. What I have already started doing, I've made the fries, the chips. Um, they're in, this, in the active fry, they are all cooked, I just need to refresh them for a few minutes before I put them in the oven. I've also cooked some bacon medallions which will be going on as well. So I'm going to make the, the saucy topping. So this is where you can kind of put your own stamp on it as to whatever sort of flavours you like. So we'll get going, we'll get this starting to cook down and then um, I'll obviously I'll come back to you when we're doing the rest of it. So I will put the, 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 the Go, GoPro on it so you can see a close up um, and hopefully you can get some lovely delicious things, delicious flavours going on for you. So we start off, you can put onions in to start with if you want. I don't really want any onions because I'm, I'm not in the mood for them, I'm not going to lie. So I'll put around about a half a teaspoon of garlic granules in. Now, again, if you like things garlicky, put more in. I don't, so I'm not. I'm putting around about a half a teaspoon of mustard powder. I'm going to put about a teaspoon of smoked paprika. So these are my little jars of spices. And I will also put um, about one and a half to two teaspoons of chili powder. Now I'm going to use mild chili, but again you can use what you like. If you want something a bit more of a kick, use cayenne pepper or some Cajun seasoning or even some barbecue seasoning if you like that kind of thing. So this is going to go on the hob just to kind of like start them spices uh, mingling together before we put in the rest of the ingredients. So into this, I say you, you doesn't really want, want a lot on the heat, um, you don't want to put a little bit of oil in there as well, it's just so that the flavours start to release so already I can smell the garlic and a bit of chilli um, chili powder. It is quite garlicky for me, I must admit, but you know, we'll see what happens. So I'm going to also put in around about 300 grams of, uh, sorry, three, yes, about 300 grams or 300 mils of passata. Now, if you do make that tomato sauce that I make with it, with all the vegetables, use that. I just haven't got any in it now. I need to make a fresh batch of it, so um, I am just using passata. Again, you can use tin tomatoes if you like. Um, a bit, a bit chunky tomatoey. I think we've established now that I don't, so I will. Well, I won't eat it. So I like the smooth tomato flavours. So I use passata. Into that, around about a tablespoon of uh, balsamic vinegar. We're going to have about um, one and a half tablespoons of either Worcester sauce or Henderson's Relish. They are, for those that uh, can't get Henderson's Relish, that's what it is. But it is, it's very similar to Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce, I can't even say it. Um, so that goes into there. And you put a tiny bit of sweetener in, and then you pop this onto the heat and bring it to the boil for about 10 minutes before we're gonna add some beans into it. So, stay there and this will all be emulsified together very shortly. Stay there. So, it's time to construct it. We'll start by just putting a little bit of fry light into the bottom of the oven proof dish. Like so, you can't see it but trust me it's in there. Next in goes the fries. So you can use um, homemade fries, fresh potatoes, you can make, uh, use frozen fries, anything you want, fries, chips, whatever you want, just throw them in there. On top of this goes the sauce. So I've used butter beans, I have um, 
cook these off probably a little bit longer than I would normally. Basically, you're going to be cook your tomato sauce for about 10 minutes and then add some beans. So I've used butter beans, but you can use a tin of baked beans, cannellini beans, kidney beans, whatever you like. I know some people can be a bit particular of what type of beans they like, but I quite like the big ones, so beans that is. So put those in. On top of that, I've already cut up the bacon. So just throw the bacon on the top, any old way. And finally, we have grated cheese. So, again, put as much as you want, or as little as you want, or don't even put cheese on if you don't like cheese. It's entirely up to you. Give it a right good sprinkle. So this is the sort of meal where you can have it on its own, uh, which we're gonna do tonight, or you can have it as a side dish for, with something else. Uh, but because it's quite late, um, I couldn't be bothered to do a lot of cooking tonight, so this is quite minimal for me. So there we go, that's what it should look like, something like that. This will go in the oven for about 10-15 minutes, just until the cheese on the top is bubbling, and then it'll be ready to dish up and eat, so stay tuned. Oh, by the way, uh, you want it on about 200 degrees centigrade for the oven. So stick it in, and off we go. So, there we go. One bowl so there we go one pot of a take on dirty fries so try it yourself uh, see what you think see if you can come up with some different flavors see if you can tweak it to make it better make it worse I don't know give it a go um, but we'll leave you there for now I'm going to dish this up and go and eat it because I am starving. It's 20 past 7. And you should not, should not be eating at 20 past 7 on a Sunday night. So, um, take care. Stay safe. We'll see you next time.